Good day, Aries viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning into Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for clicking on subscribe, for uh, liking this video, and for clicking on the notification bell. That'll let you know when I am going live or posting new videos. Today, I'm shuffling for the Aries Collective overall energy for this general reading for January 2023. Spirit, what does... What do the Aries Collective need to know for their greatest good for 2023? What does the Aries Collective need to know for their greatest good? Thank you. Okay, so first we have Golden Palace. And then we have Spark. Okay, so I have... I'm getting that you are looking for for you might be saving for a home or um, trying to get your feelers out on maybe a new residence of some sort. I'm also getting that your creativity is being sparked. Um, there's an outlet of some sort that you maybe need to revisit. Maybe it's an artistic outlet or some kind of outlet that you use to calm yourself or keep yourself, um, even keeled. I'm hearing that you need to go back to that. If you haven't visited it in a while, this could be, I don't know, maybe you used to jog and you don't anymore. Maybe you used to paint or maybe you used to be a musician or play the guitar or drums or something along that line. Maybe you used to um, be a writer or um, used to write creatively and you don't anymore. Um, something along those lines. Whatever outlet you use to, to keep your mind even keeled, I'm hearing to, you might want to revisit that. You might be having a lot of anxiety or pent up something keeping you stagnant. And Spears asking you to um, maybe revisit this and um, and that will bring forth inspiration and uh, and get you going, get some progression moving for you, whether um, because of some stagnant feeling that you might be feeling. Um, I, I'm getting that you might be coming into some sort of um, some sort of money. Maybe you got, I mean this is the time of year for bonuses or like a review or extra money of some kind. Um, and you're looking maybe to put that money down on, um, like a new residence or a new place to live, or you're looking to, um, to increase yourself, to, um, level up a little bit, uh, both financially and spiritually, you want to create this abundance and you are looking to increase everything around you just to rise up a little bit. Um, show people your, I don't want to say affluence because I don't necessarily think that it's affluence rather than, um, rather than like, it's like you're trying to create a name for yourself or show people that you're, you're real. You're really trying to come through with this. And you think maybe people will take you more seriously if you have better quality things or live a better lifestyle, which is not necessarily true, but in your head, this makes you something. If you have like designer this and designer that, um, you know, it, it gives people the persona that you're living um, your best life and um, doing the things and have the labels and everything to prove it. Okay, so shuffling for the Aries Collective. What do they need to know for their greatest good? For January 2023. What do they need for their greatest good? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, which has been coming up for a lot of readings. It's like, I feel like there's an overall 
people are rushing things. Um, people are in a hurry to see their their ideas come into uh, fruition. But that's not how things go. I think spirit wants everybody to like step back and understand the process of things and the, the organic growth of things rather than just getting things um, so quickly in life. We have the world in reverse, the nine of swords, and the hanged man. So, yeah, something isn't making you feel good. Like I said, like with the seven of pentacles, of course, it's not going to make you feel good because things are going to happen at their own pace, not at our pace. So, yeah, you wanting things to progress at a, at a pace that is unnatural and it's you feel like you're it's letting you down. The like universe is letting you down. But in reality, it's happening at the exact time it's supposed to happen. Um, you trying to rush the situation and manipulate certain things or certain ideals or certain, um, you know, being at places. It's all manipulating the universe. And when the universe sees you trying to do this stuff, it kind of pulls back and makes you wait even longer. So my suggestion to you is let things happen organically. Let things happen naturally the way they were intended to happen rather than force things. Um, it's giving you a lot of anxiety. You don't feel like you're getting ahead. You feel like things are, are in this stagnant energy. Like I said, I, I, uh, with the spark card, I said, you know, there's a, I feel like a time to pull out some creative outlets for yourself. Um, things that give you passion. I just heard like maybe it's even cooking or baking or something like that. Um, to get rid of this anxiety that you are, uh, you're feeling heavy over. And if this is, you gaining perspective on something, you being enlightened, and uh, you've been hanging on for a long time, and you're finally understanding why the universe has been making you wait so long, what was worth the wait, it's finally going to be revealed to you. So let's clarify the seven with pentacles for our Aries Collective. Clarifying the seven of pentacles for the Aries Collective. Okay, so the first card out here was Two of Cups. And the next card was the Fool. Let's see if I could get one more card for our Aries Collective to clarify the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, please. Clarify for the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Thank you. Okay, so... We have the Two of Cups, the Fool, and Justice. So that means there is some sort of bond that you have with somebody. There is a deep respect and love for each other here. Um, this doesn't have to be romantic love. This could be a respect at work. This could be, you know, um, a relationship between parents and children or siblings. But there is a deep respect and love for one another. Now, I am getting that for most of you, it is probably... Um, a love relationship. I'm sorry about if I sound sick. It's because I am getting over a cold or in the process of a cold. So I do apologize for <laughs> the way I sound in advance. Um, I'm also, we have this journey that you're afraid to take. Uh, maybe you're afraid to get into a partnership with somebody, afraid to, that it's not going to work out. You're afraid you're going to get hurt again. Well, guess what? Not every relationship ends in hurt and heartache. So this is you trying, it, being asked to trust the universe with this, um, trying to take that leap of faith into uh, the, the unknown because you don't know how it's going to end up. Um, this could also be because you are, <clears throat> feel like you might have some baggage or waiting on news from um, a divorce. I feel like there's this, could be a relationship after a divorce situation that you might be trying to deal with. Maybe you find that you're not ready to, or maybe you've met this person because um, through um, through this divorce situation, and um, you know you have apprehensions of getting involved with somebody again. You know, maybe you're just new to being on the dating scene again and you're, you're nervous about it, which could, you know, 
give you some apprehension on getting yourself out there, putting your guard down. But I think Spirit is asking you to, to take this opportunity and to let it grow and let it happen organically. If it was meant, if it came to you, let it happen organically. Don't force the situation because a, a situation that's forced is not going to last. But a situation that unfolds over time it will have a lasting effect and um you will be able to see if this person is actually um you know suited for you rather than pretending to like the same things they like or you know just uh, a basic manipulation of what this you know this relationship they not, might not be for you at all you might not actually like uh you know have the same values have the same uh, likes and dislikes if you keep pretending to like the same things they like or be at the same events they're at just because they're there okay so we have the ten of cups in reverse we have the empress and the page of pentacles so there's some sort of there's definitely unhappiness remember i said there's something that's not satisfying you something that you're you feel like you are um are putting a lot of effort into and not coming up a winner um something is is kind of devastating to you this could be a divorce this could even be an unwanted pregnancy i hate to say it but you might find yourself pregnant and this could be unwanted um you know, maybe you and this, you know, this person haven't, aren't together anymore. Um, you know, this could, maybe somebody comes to you and, and says to you, I'm pregnant and you don't know how to handle it. Um, this is quite devastating. This, this really, you know, knocks you down. You don't know what to do. It's really out of your control because, you know, this is, um, you know, their body, their choice. And uh, so this could have you in a devastating place. If, uh, you know, you're the female in this, this could have you in a devastating What are you going to do? This is making hard decisions now. Maybe you're in a state that doesn't readily let you take care of unwanted pregnancies. Maybe, um, you know, adoption isn't, um, you know, keen for you. Uh, this could lead you into a lot of different perspectives. So, um be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant. Be careful. Use protection. Um, it looks like there is a, this is a good time for you to get pregnant if you are trying to get pregnant. Um, but to me, this looks like this. This is a lot of unhappiness that I'm seeing. So this, if you are trying to get pregnant and you want to, that's awesome. But right now, I feel like this reading is for somebody who who is needs to hear that use protection you know this is this is not what you had planned um then i am seeing that there's other opportunities coming for you um now this might be an opportunity for you to to keep the baby this might be an opportunity of love this might be an opportunity for you to go back to school this might be an opportunity of assistance for you housing food shelter um so if you do find yourself in the circumstances look for opportunities that could help you because there are opportunities out there if you need help you just have to know where to look for them and where to go but, um, you know, you're not the first person to be in this situation. You're not going to be the last person to be in this situation. There are people to help you if you just ask for it and look for it. This is in a world today where there's Google is at our fingertips. And um, you're able to seek help uh, pretty, pretty easily these days if you just ask for it. Um, so I don't know, that could be for one person, that could be for a bunch of people. I feel like it's probably directed towards one or two people out there. Um, but other than that, I just feel like there's some, court of, some sort of stagnancy here. That, um, But there's going to be a new opportunity coming in for those who are feeling stagnant. So look for that um, from your guidance guard. Look for signs on how to be directed um, to 
to see the this new offer that's coming in for you guys um because it is it is coming around if you're feeling stuck and low right now and you're feeling a little displaced there are going to be signs for you to uh oh to um with a new offer coming so this might pick you up to get you back on your feet or uh, make you feel like you know you're part of society again and like you have a place I got the King of Swords in reverse uh, to clarify the Nine of Swords. Um, I feel like somebody might have cut you off or you cut somebody off. Um, you could have walked away from uh, a relationship or a group of people. This could be family. This could be a romantic relationship that you had to walk away from. We also have the Six of Swords. This is a lot of messages coming in as well. Um, or messages that that you have not received or messages that um, like somebody's been trying to get in touch with you. Maybe you haven't been writing them back or answering their texts or maybe you changed your number and they don't know about that. Uh, but there's a lot of rough situations that this um, is bringing you to. The situation that you're going through are rough and you're feeling a lot of anxiety um, like you have no help here in this situation. Can I have another card for the Nine of Swords? In or thank you. Seven of Wands. I'm hearing that you need to let your guard down. Stop being so defensive. This is about letting your guard down people are you're reacting to people in a defensive way and there's no need to be that defensive there's no need to um yes you're going through a rough time yes this is a a situation that is causing you a lot of chaos and for you to feel uneasy but if you want people to help you and to be there for you, you must stop being so defensive. You have to actually accept their help. I'm being told to look at the bottom of the deck. This is the Eight of Swords in reverse. This is about, you know, cutting the ties that bind you. This is all in your head. You're holding yourself prisoner in your own head. You're overthinking situations. And that's not healthy. So stop overthinking these, uh, these situations um get out of your head you have to move forward let down your your guard there is it's something good's coming at you quickly depend you know turn to your community things the good things are going to happen if you let them happen if you stop being so guarded okay i'm shuff i'm clearing the hanged man for our Aries Collective. And clearing the hanged man for the Aries Collective. You have the Hermit. So you have seen enlightenment. You have um, been in touch with your soul self. You have been in touch with your shadow self. You have been working on yourself finally seeing the bigger picture so what does spirit have to say regarding the hanged man for the aries collective okay yep you are feeling safe now you're feeling like you have put in the effort you've done the self-care and you are feeling like it's okay to to feel this way you're you are people are are really singing your praises people are looking at you like you are amazing but you are stuck in this cycle of of like you can't get to the next cycle there's something else that needs to change for you before you can move on um you're being you feel very comfortable in this in this place you're trying to move forward. You know, you've done all this work. Um, you've put in a lot of effort to see things differently. You've changed your views. Um, but you, you have to, there's this one thing you're missing that to move forward. 
and only you're going to be able to see it. Only you're going to be able to recognize it, um, to be able to move forward to the next people love you. Maybe that's why you feel so comfortable where you are now, because you have such a tight network, such a tight bond with your people. But this is about, um, moving forward. This is about, you know, uh, getting out of that rut and, and trying to, you know, move forward to the next cycle. Okay, let's see with this Moonology. One more. A couple more messages to conclude this reading. What do we have for the Aries Collective, please? Okay, so we have Balance and Spirituality. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. <clears throat> and then we have luck is on your side. Okay, so balancing spirituality and practicality is, you know, you don't always have to, you know, when you are being called to be centered, you don't always have to sit crossed like Like, sometimes you need to center yourself in the middle of the day. That doesn't call for being cross-legged and sit in your office to find your center. Sometimes you just need to shut your eyes and and take some deep breaths to clear yourself. That's about being practical. Okay, you don't always have to be this extreme <laughs> spiritual creature. Um, you can be practical with it and it is realistic to practice your spirituality, you know, um, practically and not just be like over the top um, you know, chanting all the time. So, um, you are able to, you know, balance that, that spirituality with practicality and luck is on your side. You just have to manifest everything, um, raise your energy, raise your vibrations. It's all, it's all going to come to you if you let it. All right. So thank you so much, Aries. I appreciate your loyalty. I appreciate you being here with me. Uh, please press um, that like button and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal reading, please see below on how to do so. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye, Aries.